Hey guys, welcome back to Trains in the Valley. Today we're going to be checking out the collection that we've been going with the last couple weeks. So let's see what HO scale finds we got. Okay, first up, gondolas. We have a bunch of Pennsylvania and Tuscan, Pennsylvania. Union Pacific, a couple different styles and numbers here. And Rock Island, Norfolk and Western, a lonely Reading. Penn Central, C and O, B and O, Southern Pacific. Look at these yellow couplers. Yeah, I've seen these a few times where uh, they're unique to say the least. <laughs> I forget the brand though. I'm not sure if it was Fleischmann or Varney. Mm, you guys in the comments will have to help out with that one because I don't see that it's branded. Well, moving on, we have some more Southern Pacific, a Sioux Line, Rio Grande. MCRR, Michigan Central, Burlington Northern, NYC, Wabash, Monon. Those are pretty popular. I just sold a whole tray of those. And we have EJ&E, Southern, Great Northern. Now we're getting into some larger cars here. Burlington. What do you think about that Western Maryland, Victoria? I've never seen one of them. I love it, but, you know, it's, it's missing some stuff. Unfortunately, it's not going to run right now. <laughs> yeah, it needs, a little, it needs to go to the shop. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I've never seen that one before. Not sure. I have no idea who made that. That's going to be a research project there. And what do we have here? OSTX. Ohio... Of course, it's in cursive and it's small. Let me try to read it. Ohio C. <laughs> okay, guys. It looks like it says the word C, and then it looks like I thought it was gonna say miles, but that looks like an L. Yeah. Steam. Okay, guys, please correct us. We have no idea what this is. Yeah, we didn't pass second grade to learn cursive, so. That's a joke. <laughs> I know cursive, but. I don't know what that word is. Union Pacific, Burlington, Erie, and other MCRR, Rock Island. There we have a B&O Chessie. I think that's an Athern. And Chessie looks a little uh, disformed there in the middle, but hey, it's a nice, it's a nice gondola. So <laughs> yeah, you said he looked like an alien, didn't? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty interesting. Oh man. Oh well, we love Chessie. NYC, and we have a neat load there, so that's pretty cool. And here's the Southern. I wanted to point out we have nice, whoa. Oh, it's <laughs> rolling away. It was going to roll away. Yeah, it has a nice load there. I also wanted to backtrack for a minute because as I was setting these up, I saw that this was a really interesting custom load. Kind of looked like a mix of um, ballast, dirt, I don't know what, gravel, uh, there's some coal in there, so it's a mixed bunch, but I'm not sure what the intent was, but that's what we got. So sometimes we get into some neat custom stuff. Okay, we have some tank cars, probably one of our most popular categories. So we have a couple different schemes of Texaco here. The condition is various. Of course, there's like one that's just no trucks or anything. Um, let's see, we have Union Carbide, two cars like that, Wesson Oil. Union, Atlantic, there's a DuPont, Shell, that one's undecorated, Cinnamid, here we have a Quaker State car, this is a Bachman, has metal wheels, knuckle couplers, pretty nice car there, and the big golf car, missing a truck. Stock cars, we have Santa Fe, a few different schemes here, and Pennsylvania, CNW, a few different schemes as well. Sioux Line, MKT, all three of them. Great Northern, Great Northern, Rio Grande. There's an old Balt and Ohio, Rock Island. What do we have here? Missouri Pacific Lines, MP. I don't know why I was looking at that quick. I thought it said MR, but it's M dot P dot. <laughs> okay, now that makes more sense. Union Pacific, old time Union Pacific, and another one. And another one like that. And here we have two animated cars. 
Um, we don't have any loads or people or anything with them, so we don't know if they work or not yet, but these were from Bachman. We have some interesting bins here. We're gonna root through. Yeah, uh, we got a bunch of just, it, it, it. so when we got this, this was just like this, all these boxes, just stuff was thrown in this box. So we'll see, some of it might be okay. And then others, you know, could be a fun project. Like this guy's completely missing a lot, but it could be cool to set down as like a, a motel, like a caboose motel kind of shop maybe, or just for fun. I don't know. <laughs> so we got, got some stuff here. That's nice. That's yeah. an after and that looks actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. And the uh, random stuff. Well, this is heavier. Hmm. This is a Bachman. There's coal in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got a shell, which we found out people like buying shells, so yeah. that's cool. Yeah, this is unique. It's a Conrail, but it says buys and hold U.S. savings bonds. I never seen that car before, and it's a life light. Hmm. That's cool. I thought that was a decal at first, but yeah. Yeah. This one looks to be in actually decent condition. It just was thrown on top. Illinois Central. This one also looks really good condition for what the rest of the box is. Yeah, yeah, that's an iron. How do you know? Tell me. It's the couplers. They're a dead giveaway, the, oh. the gearbox covers. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning here, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, hey, we're all learning. Got Redding. Decent condition, actually, for just being in there. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. Oh, no, it is. Uh, now I see the other coupler. Yeah, that's an Atherin, too. Oh, this this box was a score, that's for sure. Got some really dirty yeah. things here. So when people bring in stuff like this, we just figure, well, it's all going to be beat up. Eh. This is just missing something. <laughs> yeah, some of it's beat it up. Is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maintenance. Mm-hmm. Right here. And more parts. This probably went with this, yep. maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Wow, we're, we might get a whole steam engine till we're done. Yeah, look at <laughs> that. That's pretty cool. That's River Aussie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really, man. Oh, really beat up. Yeah, I see the wires exposed. Got the innards. Uh, it's AHM, though. Hmm. Could be a project for someone. Maybe we'll find the top in here. Yeah. You never know. This one's not in bad condition. La Lima? Lima? Italy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you say that? I'm not sure. I'm not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice caboose, actually. What we got here? Atlantic Coastline. Looks like it was a kit, maybe. Yeah. It started, but did not get finished. And there might be some extra parts in here from something else. <laughs> All right, let's that there. We got a flat car. One side looks pretty nice. The other side looks a little gluey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. Caboose. This one's in good shape. Yeah, he wasn't with his buddies. It's really clean on top, too. Yeah. <laughs> For the rest of the box. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is a mix match. Oh, this is a nice one, and we got some uh, tree stuff. <laughs> but this, other than this, um, this, this kink itself is in really nice shape. Yeah, I like those schemes. Yeah. Hmm, cool. There's more in here than I thought there was. Oh, look at this caboose. I know who will want this. Oh, hidden treasure. I've never seen this scheme before. Redding lines. Yeah, that's, that is we interesting. We have a Redding guy, and he takes pretty much anything. <laughs> I bet you he'll want this. Is... That's actually, like, other than that being broken, this yeah. is in decent shape. It's Bachman. Oh. I've never seen this, line, like, Redding lines version before. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought it was Mantua at first. I got some broken stuff here. This could just go in the trash, probably, unless you really want it, guys. It's River Rossi, so. Yeah, you never know. Oh, we got a tender and a guy on it. Mm, cool. He's scooping coal. What is the road? Bottom of the road. Ohio. And it's really dusty, but if it gets. It's River Rossi. There's really oh. a lot of River Rossi in here. I never, I never saw a dude on the back before. There he's <laughs> getting the coal out. He's working real hard. Okay, this All is right. a heavy car. Yeah. Kind of standard. Yeah, that was my first caboose when I was a kid. Uh, Rock Island Hopper. I had that car too. Yeah. I think we just had one of these in the earlier video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could have put some oh, buddies we together. Put, we got another one of them. Oh. This is a cool car. Oh, yep, the Libby's car. It's a little messy, but it's actually in like really good condition. It says Italy, Lima, mm -hmm. Lima. We're yeah, not we, Italian. We saw a lot of uh, billboard cars. They're popular. Yeah, I have a feeling this is. And it's in really good shape, other than being a little dirty. Yeah. It's in pretty good condition. Oh, Milwaukee Road. Another one of these. We're running out of space. Ooh, a Virginian car yet. Yeah. Well, the, it's funny. Okay, so this is my, this is what I think happened here. Someone started putting stuff in a box. Okay? They started putting stuff in a box that was in decent shape. Then they found junk. So I thought we'll just throw this junk on top of this good stuff, and then they found some other good stuff and some more junk, and it just turned into a big pile of. <laughs> it looked like junk, but there's some decent stuff in here. So, yeah, absolutely. But this is in actually really good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We know that's a good car. Yeah, a little <laughs> chessy. This is a cute, I you don't see these cabooses too often in collections, honestly, when we buy them. This yeah, is like a rare one that we, we don't buy too much. Hmm. And this is made in Taiwan, so whoever does stuff in Taiwan. Yeah, those gearboxes are interesting. Eerie. Oh, we got a Band-Aid, too. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> At least there's not blood on it. Yeah. Oh, boy. But this is in real, look how clean it is in there. Yeah. Other than the band-aid, this is a pretty <laughs> nice find. Okay, we got Western Maryland flat. We got, I see something in there I want to look at. Uh -oh. uh, Burlington North, Burlington Route, CB and Q caboose. I'm gonna wait, wait till the end to look at that one thing. Yeah. This looks like it's just a undecorated almost, but there's a number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ATSF caboose. Ooh. And this looks beautiful. Yeah. Great northern shell. Oh, that's cool. I saw this and I'm like freaking out. If you guys don't know by now, I love Great Northern. That's neat. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I saw it hiding in there, kind of. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's pretty neat. The scheme's not, I don't see the scheme done a whole lot, honestly, but I, I like this. Yeah, I wish we had the rest of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we got some leaves, and uh, this is a weight, some pieces. Oh, that's like a part of a crane. Yeah. Yeah, you never know what you find. People throw stuff in quick. Well, there's more and here. Dirty fingers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see if this box is as good as the last one. Right off the bat, we see River Rossi writing. Gondola. Yeah. <laughs> Gondola. I don't know. It's because I'm looking at a bunch of stuff at once, I guess. Shell. That's Pennsylvania. nice. Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, that's nice. Yep. That's cool. Oh, this is heavy. This is die cast. National Car Co. What is this? Oh, it's a Gilbert. Huh. Yeah, you don't see those every day, that's for sure. Alright, Santa Fe tank car here. A little rough. You would expect it to be rough, though. This guy's intentionally rough. That's Whoa, neat. that's neat. Yeah, this is Plymouth. That's cool. Just the shell so far, though. Pennsylvania, loco shell. That's a cute little thing. 
a very special specialty thing here, Indiana Harbor Bell Railroad. Really nice though. Yeah. yeah. yeah this guy has some projects here. Oh, there's a CN. You got some weights and things here. Not gonna bother taking this stuff uh, apart yet, but there it is. Santa Fe looks like a dummy. Yep. Okay. Uh, we got a loco floating around in there. Doesn't say steamer? a railroad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have a steam engine here, but you can't really see road name or anything. There's no tender with it. Virginian car. A little weather there. Or dirty. <laughs> we got gears and all kinds of parts there. Okay, another guy here. I don't think it's exactly a Plymouth. It doesn't say. But it is definitely a switcher undecorated there. Okay. Alright, we have Pennsylvania gondola. This one's actually pretty decent. Alright. GMO. Unique kind of flat car there. Oh, yeah, that's an Athern. Huh, cool. Not sure of that. Weight. Have a barrel. And just a bunch of random parts here, some motors, things like that. So. Just parts, stuff that we'll put away and sort later. Okay, we landed up with more random parts. There's a G-Scale thing. I don't know if it's for a tender. It kind of looks like it because that looks like a speaker box there. Um, we got loads, fences, piers, covered hoppers. That's a cleaning car. Yeah, yeah, that's a cleaning car there. American fly Flyer. Should we open it? American Flyer on Coupler. Yeah, let's look. This guy was into everything. <laughs> it was like every scale. Oh, sure. There it is. Hmm, cool. All right, well, there that is. We have track nails, piers, pieces. There's a Great Northern car, but it's missing one of the bulkheads. Unfortunately, some projects there. That looks like a Heinz car. Interesting Pennsylvania car here. Eh, unfortunately, missing pieces though. Uh, there's some coach wheels, flats, all kinds of craziness. There's a neat Penn Central car, a little rough of course, but it's decently complete. And an auto loader with the cars. One of the big problems with these is they usually get broke there, so it's going to need some gluing and stuff like that. And a VNT. Oh, and then we also have a, a light car there. So, all kinds of stuff. So now we'll get back into our regular cars. Okay, flat cars. We have some Southern Railroad bulkheads with pulpwood loads in them and there's one with no load. Here's the find of the week right here, Pennsylvania bulkhead. We definitely don't ever see them because I'm sure they sell instantly. So that's awesome. Southern. Southern Pacific, Illinois Central. And here we have an Erie with a custom load on it. I think it's like a motor or I don't think it's a generator. We were trying to figure it out, but not sure. Nonetheless, knuckle couplers, it's ready to go. We have two Rock Islands with pipes. A nice Great Northern triaxle there. Santa Fe Trailer Flat. Forest Lumber Co. McKeesport Coal. Also notice it has KD type couplers. A couple small flats here. Union Pacific, NYC, Great Northern. Larger Great Northerns. Santa Fe, and a couple Western Marylands. 
And finally, we have another GMO sighting today. Anyone looking for cabooses? We got some. Let's see. We got a bunch of Pennsylvania. And let me just emphasize they're all a little different from each other. That first one I really like. But this blue one, look at this blue one, guys. I've never seen this. Corey has never seen this. I think it's a lifelike, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a lifelike. It's a beautiful car. It's in great shape. Another red one. And we got a Chessy Beano. And we got Boston and Maine. This was definitely, like, custom. That's pretty cool. And then we got some Spirit of 76 stuff. And then we got two BNs. And we got another Spirit of 76. What's cool about it is it's red on this side and it's orange on this side. And I love that. We got the Royal Blue. We got Great Northern. Two Undecorateds. And then an Illinois Central. We got CN. Erie. New Haven. Green Bay Root. Baltimore, Ohio. Conrail, we got New York Central, we got two Sioux lines, and I love that that one is orange on top. We got Burlington Root, and then we got a bunch of ATSF, Santa Fe, bunch of different ones. This one has really nice wheels, metal wheels, by the way. And we got a shell, and we got another one, and we got a couple more. And now we start the Union Pacific stuff. And I always like this one because I like the logo. More Union Pacific. And this one's cool because it's a different font. So if you like cabooses, let's get some. All right, here's the grand finale. We have locomotives. So here's a Santa Fe with knuckle couplers. We have four Penn Centrals like this. Here we have a mixed batch of things. Not even sure what's all in here yet. Burlington, check this out. This is classic. Yeah, I've never seen that before, that's for sure. A couple shells. You know, some of these look great, some of them look rough. It'll be interesting to see what we get. Here we have a nice redding engine, but I see some paint chipping and stuff, so maybe that doesn't mean anything if you want to weather it. I really like the Burlington Northern there. That's pretty sweet. Not to mention this awesome Conrail. Pennsylvania's and Pennsylvania Switcher as well. So there's some interesting things here. I think I'm gonna take a moment, put a couple on the rails. All right, that's a beautiful sight right there. The engine and the fact that it works. Yeah, if I had a DC setup yet, I know where that would go. <laughs> okay, this one's interesting. It, it runs in both directions, but it seems a little hesitant. It's definitely not going full speed. I just have my transformer up all the way and that's only as fast as it was going. So this guy's gonna need a little trip to the shop, but as far as it goes, it's a good sign that it is working. Okay, this Redding, it runs, but again, this is top speed. So unless you're using it for yard work, we could have a problem here. It's a Spectrum, it's definitely a nice locomotive, but you know, it has some paint chipping and stuff like that, so not the best care went into it. So it definitely needs some work, so we'll price that accordingly. Okay, here we have decent results already. There's a nice pair of Pennsylvania. One's powered, one's a dummy. Okay, and the Pennsylvania Switcher is actually a dummy unit and it's an Atherin, so this one will definitely work.
Boop. <laughs> it's a little dirty. It wants to go. There it is. Okay. So runs pretty good. Definitely needs to be cleaned up, but I'm happy with that already. Okay, another unit couldn't initially get running, but these look a little dirty, so that could all that could be all it is. So we'll probably revisit it at a later time. Awesome. Yeah, it just needs a little cleaning up. Bachman's DCC on board units are pretty simple. They just have lights and then you can dim the light as well. It's an entry system into DCC and I did the same thing at one point. It doesn't have sound, but it is really nice when you're trying to start to make the leap into DCC. Cool, the track record today is actually pretty good. <laughs> track record, that's a pretty nice pun actually. But the thing is, uh, yeah, usually locomotives don't work half the time. And I'm impressed already. Okay, this Burlington one, I'm assuming this is like a rubber band driver. It doesn't have the rubber band, but it definitely started spinning around in there when I put it on the track, so we got power. Okay, testing the next Santa Fe, it seems that there's a lot of hesitation, so it's either dirty or has some issues. <laughs> Yeah, not sure. And again, at this point, we're just doing quick tests. See what our first impression is. All right, this guy's flying out of the gates here. There we go, that's a decent runner here. Yep, sometimes it just needs the encouragement with the, the hand. Okay, we have a spirit of 76. And as of right now, it doesn't have too much spirit left in it. But I think it does have some potential. I think mostly what we're looking at here is we just need maybe some new wheels. Um, they're cracked and has some issues there. But we have another one. Now this one's missing the covers for the gearboxes, or not gearboxes, for the, oh, my brain's going blank. But yeah, th this one has a cover off here. We'll throw him on and see if we have better results or not. Oh, well, I want it to go. It's thinking about it. There we go. That's not too bad, actually. All right, that's it for this week's video. So it was definitely interesting. We found a lot more things than we expected to in that batch. So with that said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, if you want to have a first chance to check videos like this out with collections and all kinds of stuff, um, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. We will have the link below because everyone who's on our newsletter will get to see it first. That is correct. And what will we see next week? We're going to be digging into some end scale stuff. Mm -hmm. We have new used and anything else that we find till then. And then after that, we have the secret stash. And mm -hmm. that's going to be crazy. So You definitely want to be on the newsletter list if you want first dibs on the secret stash. Yeah, it's been stashed for some time because yes. we've been busy. We're starting to get caught up, but we won't be caught up for too long because we have a wait list of people with collections for us. And it's easily nearing 10 already. Yes. So next year is going to be crazy, so stay with us. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Catch you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just, laugh at that? Just a gesture. I